Last night, Senate Republicans released details on their stimulus package proposal known as the HEALS Act, which stands for Health, Economic Assistance, Liability, Protections in Schools. So in this video, I'll go over exactly who is eligible for this second stimulus check and who got excluded from it. Then I'll also give you the important details you need to know about. First, let's talk about the most important part of the stimulus package, which is the direct payment stimulus checks. So it is a one-time payment of $1,200. I'm gonna give the good news and bad news about this, but first let me just break down who's eligible and who's not eligible. Under the Republican stimulus proposal, it's a one-time payment of $1,200, very similar to the first round of stimulus checks. So the way it breaks down in terms of income is if you make less than $75,000, in 2019, then you get the full amount of $1,200. It's $150,000 for married couples. And then if you make anywhere from 75,000 to 99,000, you'll just get a reduced amount of that $1,200. And just like the first round of stimulus checks, individuals can receive $500 per dependent under the age of 17. Now let's talk about who is included and excluded from receiving this second stimulus check. So included is going to be adult dependent. So anyone 18 or older, who was claimed as a dependent with the first round of stimulus checks did not receive it. With this round of stimulus checks, they will receive a second stimulus check. So college students, senior citizens, any adult claimed as a dependent will receive a second stimulus check. Now let's talk about who is excluded from receiving a second stimulus check. So deceased and incarcerated are excluded from receiving it. Also, the 2 million Americans who are married to anyone without a social security number are not going to receive the second stimulus check. Marco Rubio was pushing for that, but it was not included in the HEALS Act. Under the HEALS Act, there is protection against creditors and debt collectors. So uh, with the first round, people were having their stimulus checks garnished. With this, it's protected against bank garnishment or levy debt collectors. Also, I forgot to mention another group that is included in receiving this second stimulus check would be SSI, SSDI, RRB, retirees, veterans. Those categories will be receiving a second stimulus check. I just hope this time around that they receive it first. Before I get into the other details, the good news and bad news about this second stimulus check. First, the good news is that it is pretty much a guaranteed second stimulus check, one-time payment of $1,200. The Democrats want a one-time payment of $1,200, Republicans do as well. So there's really no room for negotiation. It's a 99.9% guarantee. The bad news is that it will not be a recurring stimulus check that many Americans wanted and many Democrats have proposed for. Also, it'll not be more than $1,200. As President Trump said in the past, it will not be a larger than $1,200 check. It's pretty much set at $1,200 at this point. Another big change to the stimulus package is the elimination of the $600 a week federal unemployment supplement. So it's going to be replaced with a 70% wage replacement program. More specifically, for the first two months, uh, people will get $200 per week and then after that it'll be 70% of a person's wages before they lost their jobs. The HEALS Act also has an expansion of the Paycheck Protection Program, which Democrats will agree on and not negotiate. And then also it has a liability shield protection for businesses, schools, and healthcare providers so that they don't get sued for anything coronavirus related. The bill also includes $16 billion for COVID testing and contact tracing, $20 billion for vaccine, therapeutic, and diagnostic development, $20 billion for farmers, and $30 billion to protect military and defense industrial base from the virus. So that's the general overview of the HEALS Act. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you think about this? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Also, if you have any questions about this, let me know too, and I'll address it in a future video. And if you want more straight to the point stimulus check updates, subscribe to the channel so I could give you the latest and most important information. Just to be clear, the HEALS Act will not pass as is. There is a lot of room for negotiation because it's a big difference between the HEALS Act, which is the Republican stimulus proposal, and the HEROES Act, which is the Democratic stimulus proposal. Just to keep things simple, I'll just say the Democrat proposal and Republican proposal, just so we don't get confused. The reason why the Republican stimulus won't pass as is, is because of three reasons. The unemployment benefit insurance that the Democrats want. Although the Republicans kind of negotiated and compromised in giving some type of unemployment insurance, the Democrats are going to want more. Another reason is that there is no funding for state and local governments. If we look at the HEROES Act, which was passed by the Democrats, the Democrat stimulus proposal, they have 500 billion for state governments, 
375 for local governments. And this is almost a trillion dollars that they want just for state and local governments. So the Democrats are going to negotiate in that area. And the third area is no eviction moratorium or other relief for renters. So there is a crisis going on where the eviction moratoriums are unfreezing, meaning that many, around 28 million Americans could be evicted from their homes. This could be passed as a separate bill. It's just not included in the HEALS Act, the Republican stimulus proposal. So now that the Republicans put forth their stimulus proposal, there's gonna be a lot of negotiations negotiations between the Democrats and Republicans, and I'll keep you updated on what the latest is. And if you want to watch more second stimulus check updates, you could click this playlist right over here, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe.